you cool cats, this is Mina, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. And it has been a couple of days since I last recorded, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's just jump into it and see what the game has for me today. Oh boy. <laughs> More depressing stuff. Or maybe not. <laughs> My adorable mono pups. Little monotaro. Little mono funny. Little mono dumb. And the rest. <laughs> oh, why did you have to die? Your lives were irreplaceable. <laughs> My grief is piling up like wrestling balls. <laughs> so speaking of snow, it, it started snowing here in Texas. Um, has snow been landing in your parts of the world? I told them, make the most of your life, because you only get one shot at it. And once it's over, nothing can replace it. Oh, why did they take their lives for granted? If only they could <laughs> That's the question we've all been asking. What's an irreplaceable life anyway? Voyage without passion. The morning after Gonto was declared the path blackened, we gathered in the dining hall as always. Oh man, there are like none of us left. Are we really gonna get rid of more? Maybe we're going to figure out the mastermind from here? I'm not sure. Alright. <clears throat> As always? No, how could that be? With everything that happened yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, Kokichi was being a monster. Even such a dark time, one of us was still bright, trying to cheer us all up. Himiko? Jeez. Oh, nope. Jeez, don't be stupid, guys. There's no way I'd die, you know? Hey! Are you really okay? Got it. I'm telling you, I'm just fine. I wasn't feeling great yesterday, but I've got... But after a good night's sleep, I'm all better. I'm 100% better now. But there's no way you'd get better so quickly after coughing up that much blood. Ah. I told you, didn't I? I just coughed too much and cut my throat a little, that's all. Um. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard or suffering from a chronic illness? Idiot. <laughs> Don't be stupid. If I had a chronic illness, I wouldn't stand a chance in astronaut training. Seriously, you guys are worrying too much. Just because you all love me and can't help your... Of course we'd be worried. My bad. My bad? But I'm serious. You don't need to worry about me anymore. I should have told you guys I wasn't feeling well. I made you worry for nothing. Come on, man. Uh, okay, don't glare at me like that. <laughs> if I do start to feel bad again, I'll have you guys help me, okay? Now that's out of the way, let's eat! Yeah, come on guys, let's all eat! Kaito spoke cheerily, then left to go get his meal. Is there really nothing wrong? With what I saw yesterday, how could I act like nothing's wrong? Despite Kaito's remarks, he should probably receive medical attention just in case. I guess. Now we've got another reason why we need to get out of here. Okay. And on top of that, we need to do it fast. But 
Escaping is all well and good, but what does the outside look like? We still don't know what the... <clears throat> we still don't know what the secret of the outside world is either. Kunta wouldn't tell us what it was because it would give us so much despair we'd want to die. What was that? If that's true, then what could possibly be happening outside this academy? Uh... I don't know. See, when I think of, like, what could be going on outside, I, of course, think of, like, what happened in Danganronpa 1. Kaito returned to the table, his hands full of food. I mean... We can't figure that out just thinking about it, so there's no point wasting your brain power. But, but we can't simply not think about... No. Sure, there's a chance the outside world is messed up because of Monokuma, but making us worry about it is what Monokuma wants. He's using it to put pressure on us. Kokichi and Gonta just snapped under that pressure. The outside world is probably fine. You are such an optimist. You are such an optimist. Opt opt optimist. What is it? Optometrist. Oh. You're such an optometrist. Can you prescribe some rose-colored glasses for me, too? Okay, that's what- Oh, I thought she meant Optimus, too. <laughs> I think you meant Optimus. You know. Either way, that's something to think about once we get outside, so focus on that now. Shuichi. As a detective, what are your thoughts on this, Shuichi? Uh, okay. I I've considered a few theories, but I can't say for sure. You're right. Well, that's understandable. There are barely any clues. Is he still upset with me? Oh, crap. Since the incident yesterday, Kaito won't look me in the eyes. He must still be angry. But I had no choice. I had no other options. My deduction wasn't wrong. If I hadn't identified Gonta as the culprit, we would all be dead. For the rest of us to survive, Gunta had to be sacrificed. There was nothing I could do. Hey, so... I'm glad we're talking about how to escape, but where'd he go? Kokichi. Huh? Ah. The instant Kaito spoke his name, a nervous energy shot through us. No! I haven't seen him. Even if I did, I'd be the one running away. Hmm. I haven't seen him either. It's like he has completely vanished. He apparently... He's apparently really good at hide and seek, so he's probably just hiding somewhere. Um, we can't just let that person be. He's a little too dangerous. No, not just a little. Because he... He enjoys watching us suffer. His face just screams that he's having fun whenever he sees us suffer. He's not normal. There's obviously something wrong with him. I've been trying to wrap my mind around Kokichi because the thing is, is like... He, there has to be a reason why he's doing all of this. It's not just because he's... He's sick. He he has a reason for for doing all this. I'm I'm still like it doesn't matter if he had like a good reason for what what he did to Gonta. I, I really I really don't care. I'm still gonna be mad about that. But he, he he probably has some sort of reason. He's acting like way too much of a villain. No one is going to trust him to the point where he's gonna be able to make a kill. I just it's. Just, And he's definitely not the mastermind. I don't know. How annoying. Cause someone has to be the mastermind, right? Like that's that's been going on in the back of my head. We we let it oh crap. I, I clicked past. Um We clicked past I mean, the thing is, is, like, we kind of dropped the whole, like, mastermind thing very early on. But there's got to be somebody who's the mastermind behind this. 
I just don't know who anymore. None of the people remaining scream mastermind to me. Well, I mean Kokichi would, but Kokichi's like far too obvious. We weren't if we weren't in this killing game, I would have assassinated him already. Ironic. The rules of this game actually make it harder to kill. Hey! Maki roll, that's not good. Playing this killing game is what Monokuma wants us to do. I know. Is Maki Roll a nickname for Maki? That's a good nickname. <laughs> it makes me want to take a bite out of her with soy sauce and spicy mustard, right, Maki Roll? Sorry. S sorry. I guess I don't know how close we are just yet. Hey! Hey, if we don't do anything, we'll be killed by Kokichi next. I bet even now he's plotting somewhere and... I bet even now he's still hiding somewhere and plotting against us. No. No, actually, we're safe right now. Kukichi told us that his objective was to win the killing game. He wouldn't risk a murder that would so obviously implicate him. But, but he might be planning to make us suffer in some other way, like how he used Gorta. Anyway, we need to find him as soon as... <laughs> Here I am! Yeah. Monokuma! Why? What... What are you doing here? <laughs> I got business with you guys, of course. What's the point? It's our prize, right? Hurry up and give it to us. Okay. Can do. You're being awfully compliant. Yeah. Of course, I can't refuse you all. Not when I'm all alone and outnumbered. Outnumbered? Well. But I'm used to being alone. Back in the day, I was alone from start to finish. Anyway, here's your prize this time. You get two keys. This one is the last real key, and this one is the real last key. Well, what's the difference? Now then. Now then, go find the areas that these keys will unlock. Bye -bye. See you later. Bye, Lenora. Jerk. What should we do? So what should we do about this new area? I... I think we should prioritize searching for that new area over searching for Kokichi. It likely contains a flashback light, and we may discover new facts. So you're saying wins are low priority, typical for a bloodless, tearless machine man. Um... I'm not sure we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. Hey, what do you want to do, Kaido? Yeah. I'm worried about Kokichi, but there's no point worrying about him all the time. Alright, all right, our first priority is to solve the mystery of this academy. Let's investigate. Alright, uh, I'll hold on to that. Okay. Oh, that's right. Without leading my eyes, Kaito placed the key in my palm. Mm -hmm. Kaito, Shuichi, what's the matter? You both seem different today. Well, I hate the move, Kibo. It's fine, so let's go already. We split up and began our search. Oh man. I'm not getting along? Whatever. Well, I know that there's a key going upstairs. So, I still have two people that I believe will kill. And I still have... I don't know. See, I, I'm not feeling very confident about who I think will die and um, who will kill anymore. It, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of... I'm, I'm very torn on if I'm right about it. I know that there is a locked door up here. Aha! Found you here, Monokuma. 
Hmm. Huh? Huh? The key works, but it won't turn. Could it be ticking? Sensing danger, hurriedly backed away from the door, and then... It exploded. A trap? That was dangerous. Hmm. I could have been really hurt. The key, it's still here. Can it be used for something else? Whose room is this? From the look of the door, it must be an ultimate lab. Whose lab is this? Only a few of us left who don't have a lab All right. I should check inside. When I turn the knob... Hmm. Huh? It won't open. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that research lab is closed because its owner is dead. The owner is dead? Hey. Per the rules, if a student dies before their ultimate research lab is opened, then that lab will remain closed. I'm hearing this. Yeah. Well, that's cause this is the first time I've mentioned it. There's no point in complaining to Monokuma. This is his academy. Anyway, this lab belongs to someone who's dead. Yeah. Is this Rantaro's lab? Aww. How disappointing! You'd know what his talent was if you went into his lab. <laughs> It'd be quite a dramatic development if you'd learn what his talent was right now. Huh? Well, what is that? Yes, what does that mean? To tell you the truth. That sort of unexpected development can only happen in a real killing game like this one. No. Oh well, what a waste. I can't believe that idiot killed him. Rantaro's lab, I'm curious about his talent, but it's too late now. What was his talent? I see like... A mace. This looks like a bat with nails in it. Maybe like a knife. It looks like blood. What was Rantaro's talent? Are we gonna talk? Kaito still won't look me in the eyes. Talking to him is gonna be awkward. Hey. I wonder where Kokichi is. There are only so many places he can hide. No. I'm not sure. It's possible that he's always on the move to avoid being caught. That guy is really twisted if he enjoys people suffering that much. <sighs> but I'm not any better. I take people's lives for a living. Hey! Don't say it like that, Maki Roll. You're facing your past self. Unlike Kokichi. He doesn't even want to try and change. That's the word dis- Unlike Kokichi, he doesn't even want to try and change. That's the worst decision you could make. Right. True. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... Maki, you need to help me. Jeez. Jeez, it looks like Kaito's still upset hey, with you. Shuichi. He needs to get over himself, but you should think about his feelings too, Shuichi. Uh -huh. What happened to Gonta? No one could sort out their feelings in just one night. Is it this door? It's unlocked. Alright, let's go. What am I gonna find in here? This is Kokichi's lab, isn't it? Maybe not. I can see a spiral. I can see a spiral staircase. It looks pretty long. Where does this staircase lead? Maybe? Is this... Is this going to be... This is a pretty long staircase. Where does it lead? I don't know. I feel almost like we're... We reach the top? You finally reached the top. I feel as if something's there. It's best to be cautious. Oh, it isn't. I thought it would be Kokichi's lab because... Because it... 
it had like the checkerboarding, but I guess not. Is this another ultimate lap? Then it must be. Got it. Finally, it looks like this is my research lab. Okay, to... Yeah, those stairs were long and such a pain. I'm tired. Someone give me a piggyback ride. You made us climb all these stairs just for the ultimate astronaut's lab. Hey! What do you mean, just? This is the main stage, and it's finally been revealed. Hey. I'm tired. Hey, someone give me a piggyback ride. Hey. Anyway, let's go inside. There might be something useful in here, probably. Don't screw around. What do you mean, probably? It's got to be full of super important stuff. Hey. hey isn't anyone going to give me a piggyback ride? Shut up. Shut up. I'm not going to give you a piggyback ride. Oh. Uh, let's go inside, then. It's a large machine. It's a large machine, perhaps for a planetarium. You can project stars on the ceiling with this. It's quite the facility. Hey. How about you give me a piggyback ride on the way back down the stairs? She's still saying that. Need us climb all those stairs just for a room that looks like a playground. I feel as this was a huge waste of time. Let's look around for anything useful. Hmm, this is amazing. It looks like the cockpit of a spaceship. It's pretty cool! Perfect for my research lab! You. you can operate this? I mean, it's probably just a simulator, but... Ah. Yeah, I've never seen this machine, but I've trained with something like it. Got it. Well, I guess it'll all work out. Right. What reckless confidence. I don't ever want to be in any vehicle you're driving. You know. But wow, is this really a simulator? I feel like it's too elaborate. Ah. Nah, no way it's real. I mean, what would it even operate? At that moment... Hey, hey, come look at this. Huh? Huh? Something wrong? Well, found it in the back. Huh? What is this? A file? The Gopher Project? Countries from all over the world work together to create a meteorite defense plan, but none of us can remember the details of that. Hmm. So this file has information about the project. What? So what does it say? Uh, okay. Oh, hold on, I'll read it. Uh, uh, Let's see. The Gopher Project. The last hope to save humanity from the disaster raining down from space. Burdened with this imperative project are boys and girls of exceptional talent. This is the purpose of the Gopher Project. Hey! Oh, what about the rest of it? What's it say? Hey. Don't tease us, just say it already. Well, that's... The rest of it is blacked out. I can't read any further. Yeah. What, what did you say? Yeah. Did Monokuma do this? Damn it, he's screwing up with us. Hey. Do you think this part about boys and girls of exceptional talent is referring to us? Hey. And what could the seeds of future hope mean? What's this about the new world? Is this? This is like Noah's Ark. Oh. Huh? Noah's Ark? Well, Noah's Ark was built with gopher wood. So... What? Oh, yeah, you're right! Okay. Of course, it's just the story of the Bible. But to choose that name in particular, mm. it does seem related. How is all of this related to the Academy, to us? Yeah. I mean, okay, so I'm not too, like, overly familiar with a lot of the things in the Bible, but Noah's Ark was basically where they, 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 uh, they put all these animals, like, every animal that, that existed on this, this giant boat, and then, like, I guess God destroyed the entire world by... 
by uh, f flooding the the entire world until nothing could live, and then like once God was done flooding the world, um, they let all the animals out and repopulated the entire planet again with the the survivors of the ark. That sounds crazy. <laughs> they, they didn't flood the world, did they? <laughs> None of that makes any sense. Well, if we find the next flashback light, we might be able to remember something about it. Now that you mention it, where is it? It doesn't seem like it's in this lab. Right. So it must be somewhere else. We gotta look for it first. That's true. Alright, this place is useless to us now. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, because we gotta find the flashback light. A flashback light, our last hope. But it's something that Monokuma created. I don't want to depend on something that Monokuma has touched. But there's nothing we can do. There's no other way to restore our memories. <sighs> yeah, because... I mean, this game is about telling truths and lies, so what's to say that, like, Monokuma isn't, like, making all this stuff up? But there's, like, so many things going on, I can't even... If Monokuma was lying about something, I wouldn't even know where to begin, What what's a lie and what's the truth. I actually thought this was going to lead to Kokichi's lab. Because it has, like, the black and white here, like... Like a checkerboard? And that that matches, like, Kokichi's outfit? I'm sure I wasn't the only one to think that. Alright. We have one key left. feels mechanical now. It looks like construction is almost done, but what happens then? The ultimate Academy, the likes of which we have never seen before. Will we ever find out what it means? of this academy, we're going to have to use the flashback lights to remember the truth. Um, of course, I know we need to do that too. Alright! Fine, I'm just going to stop worrying about it. We need to live for Gonta and everyone else and escape this place. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Alright, then I'll plainly look around the school. I'll let you know if I find anything. Um... There aren't many doors left that could be opened with keys Monokuma gave us, correct? There is a door in that wall. Perhaps we can get in? There's something next to the door that seems to resemble a keyhole. You, you were nothing but trouble even at the very end. But still, you didn't have to die. You didn't deserve to die like that, Mew. Oh. It looks like but I don't think I could open this with my bare hands. Oh. Oh! Oh! That 
sound? Was it the giant door unlocking? What could be behind this door? Cyber courtyard? Oh, what is this place? This is... I feel like I'm on the set of a sci-fi movie. A mecha could pop out at any moment. It took every ounce of my strength to hold in what I wanted to say. <laughs> this is different from the other places we've seen so far. And this maze-like hallway, perhaps it's to defend the building that it leads to. I suppose. Why does it wind around like this? What is this? The shutter is huge. This is... It seems to be well fortified. Hmm. That is an electric barrier. We can't raise the shutter while it's active. Hey! If they're protecting it this strongly, there must be some secret in there. Yes. That... that's a possibility. Let's investigate to see if we can get in. Oh. Wait, it's dangerous. Don't... Before I could finish my warning, Kibo approached the shutter and... Well, what is this? Kibo! Kibo, get away from... Hey. Oh my! Tsk, tsk, tsk! Don't you go setting off my alarm now! Come on, come on, get out of the way so I can turn off that alarm! Jeez, you guys gotta be more careful! Huh? Be careful. What was that alarm for? It was so loud. Oh, that's the alarm system! Here. You see that motion sensor alarm? Above the shutter? Oh, In order to turn it off, you need to use an alarm remote. Hey, uh, A super loud alarm will blare if you approach the shutter without turning off the system. Why? Why is there an alarm system here of all places? <laughs> This place is so important that it needs beefed up security. I guess while I'm here, I'll also explain that electric barrier. Hey, uh... To turn it off, you gotta enter a 59 digit code in the control panel next to the shutter. I'll tell you what the code is, but only once, so make sure you memorize it. 503934 Hey! Wait, slow down, please. Five, zero, three, what was the rest? <sighs> Only three numbers? Come on, robot. I know you can do better than that. An electric barrier and an alarm system. That's pretty tight security. Why? Why are they guarding so closely? What could be in there? Here. Like I said, it's a v this is a very important place. My mood is well, swinging. it used to be important. But that was a long time ago. Now it's just pointless. Huh? Pointless? Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's pointless. So I may as well give you guys the alarm remote. You can use it to turn off the motion sensor alarm above the shutter. Right. See? It turned off the alarm system, didn't it? Now just use the electric control panel to deactivate the electric barrier. And you can go inside. Um, can you repeat the code you mentioned earlier? What? Huh? How annoying. But since it's your first visit, I'll let you inside just this once. Oh, for a second I thought that was going to be the way out, but he wouldn't do that if it was just the way out. Hanakuma walked up to the control panel, quickly punched in the numbers, and... Okay, now you just gotta manually raise the shutter and you can go inside. You can either use the control system inside to restore the alarm system in electric barrier, or just use the control panel there, or do nothing in the barrier and alarm will stay off. Then. Well then, safe travels! He just led us into this highly secured area. What's his game? Shuichi. Let's go, Shuichi. We have no other direction but to move forward. My inner voice is telling me, 
Hope moves forward. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Exosol hanger? Oh, it's pointless because the Exosols are in here. Uh, over there, it's... An Exo? Oh, no! All five of them are here! It's too dangerous! Let's run! Uh, Wait a second. Hmm. They aren't moving. They're not reacting to us, and their lights are off. That's right. Oh, now that you mention it, you're right! I wonder what's going on. The Monocubs are dead, so they have no purpose. Surprise! This is actually the Exosol hangar! Yep, this is where the Exosols are stored. A facility for storing Exosols? This is where I was guarding the precious Exosols so no one would mess with them. But, huh, it's pointless now. Is this because the Mana Cups are gone? No one can control the Exosols anymore? <laughs> what? No one can control them anymore? Am I wrong? Don't worry about my reaction just now. I thought of a somewhat over-the-top reaction would put you guys on the defensive. Do not mock me. What does that mean? Quiet. Now, now, don't get so worked up. You may be a machine, but you're not a demon model. The deactivated exosols. And this hangar, is this hangar pointless now that mo the mock cubs are gone? If that's true, is nothing threatening us anymore? Hmm. This is a huge, powerful machine. That's. This hydropolic press is probably used to scrap decommissioned exosols. Huh? Scrap them? Yeah. Yes, even the exosols could not withstand being crushed by a giant metal slab. You're right. True. By the way. Also, it seems you can control the hydraulic press using the control panel over there. Hmm. This is gonna be important for something. This is an up and down mo This is an up and down button as well as an emergency stop button. There's a safety notice written here. The hydraulic press has an infrared sensor. When it detects a living being, it automatically stops for safety reasons. That's true. If someone accidentally ended up in the press, the machine would start stop. Um What do you think, Shuichi? Huh? Of the safety function? I, I don't know. Well then. Let's give it a try. Uh um. Mm, try what? As I stood there confused, Kibo suddenly got under the press. What? Shuichi, please! But you're a robot. I don't want to do this. Please, what? If the press comes to a stop when it detects a person, what will happen if it detects me? Let's find out. Are you sure about that? I don't know if the sensor will work. Don't worry. If I sense any danger, I'll move out of the way. I just really want to try it out. If I don't, I'll never be able to rust in peace when I die. He's not going to change his mind about this. Okay, let's do it. But get out of there if it's dangerous, okay? Certainly. Now, if you would be so kind, start it up. Convinced by Kibo's enthusiasm, I press the button. And then... Oh, no! Okay. Th th that was a close hit one. Wait. Yes, it was. Why did you do that? Why? Why didn't you press the force stop button, Shuichi? It's not my fault. But at least we know now. Unfortunately. It seems I'm only perceived as a machine, not a human. No. Well, to this hydraulic press, that is. Right. Uh, yeah. Why didn't I press the force stop? I have always suspected that I'm perceived as a jesting machine, but this is rather harrowing 
to have that suspicion confirmed before my eyes. 100%. I may be just a machine to this press, but I'm sure other tests will confirm my humanity. Dude, that, that was real close. Alright, a washing machine? Oh, for the exosols. This looks like a car wash. Is it for cleaning the exosols? That seems comfortable. Comfortable, huh? Ah, this control panel. That's... This is most likely the control panel for the alarm system and electric barrier. Hmm. Yes, it seems like it. But there's no reason to turn the barrier back on, so we shouldn't touch it. Are you saying that because I don't have the 59-digit code to deactivate it memorized? Because all robots can memorize more than three digits, is that what you are implying? No. No? All five exocells are being stored here right now. They aren't moving at all. Are the exocells not going to move anymore? Are they no longer going to be used against us? What is this door? Uh, the bathroom for the exercise? Why would they need a bathroom? This is a bathroom. It doesn't look like it's been used for in a long time. Well. I suppose that makes sense. I'm sure I'm the first person to be in here in a while. Monokuma and the Monocubs certainly don't need to use the bathroom. But then, why is there a bathroom here in the first place? If they were under the impression we would never be here, why make a bathroom? Hmm. Does that mean I was wrong? Well, there's nothing that concerns me here, so I'll go back. do I have to investigate? Oh. A painting machine? This huge machine has several moving arms. What is this used for? This, is... this machine is probably used to paint the exosols. You're right. Alright. It does kind of smell like paint thinner. Um... Which means I could potentially use this machine to give myself a makeover. No. I don't think you need a makeover. You're great just the way you are, Kiva. Yeah. Well, of course I am. Then why bring it up? I've investigated everything here. This is definitely a hangar for the exercise, but they're deactivated. Monokuma might be right. This place no longer has any purpose. Hey, Suichi. There you are. I was looking for you. Hey, come to the dining hall. Smoothie says she wants everyone to meet there. Huh? Huh, Smoothie? Right. She told me she found something. It's probably the flashback light. Okay. Anyway, come as soon as you can. I'm gonna go on ahead. The next flashback light. What will we remember this time? All right. I should head to the dining hall. <laughs> I have a feeling, okay, if there's another murder, it's going to happen in this hangar. There's, there's so many, there's so many complicated things going on with that hangar. It just seems like that will be where someone would die. Because the only other places that could be is Rentaro's ultimate lab, which is locked. And we're not getting into. And Kaito's lab. And there wasn't a lot going on in Kaito's lab, so I just don't see that. What? Is everyone here? Guys, it's serious. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, you found the flashback light, didn't you? Let's use it already. What? 
It's not. I honestly thought that's what this was all about. What's that mean? Then why did you call us here? We had to go to the bathroom. No. I found something pretty serious. I thought I should tell everyone right away. Pretty serious? I'm guessing she found what Kokichi wrote. Um. Once again, I'm reminded of how few of us are left. It used to take quite a bit of time for us to all gather, but that's not the case anymore. Yeah, it feels really empty. Well, I don't know what the serious thing is that Stu Mugi is talking about. It looks like no one found a flashback light yet. Are you not gonna talk to me still? Yeah. You know... Hey, has anyone seen Kokichi? No. But I see. I see. Where could he have gone? Mm -hmm. Let's hurry and get this over with. I, I got to go to the bathroom. Um. So what did you find? It's from that one thing. Those letters go to found in the courtyard. There's more added to them again. Huh? in the courtyard? Yeah. It looks like the message is complete now. We can finally read it. And it says... This world is mine. Kokichioma. That's what's written there. What? This world is mine? What's that mean? Uh -oh, what's going on? Why is Kokichi's yeah. name? <laughs> so that's what it means. It was all just a prank by Kokichi. Huh? A prank? Ah. He kept adding those... He kept adding to that message just so he could make fun of us. Seriously, what a messed up guy. Uh, yeah, I see. That definitely seems like something Kokichi would do. That is true, but is that all there is to it? When Gunta had found the writing, all it said was, For say. Over time, more letters were added. Eventually, it read... This world is mine, Kokichi Oma. Hmm, is there another message hidden in here? There might be another message in here. I don't see it at the moment. Um, I do see that, like, a lot of the eyes are lining up. Like, in this is... Um, nope. I can't figure it out right now. We really just ascribe it to Kokichi's pranks? You know... Well, who cares about Kokichi? More importantly, what about the flashback light? Hmm. It seems no one has found it yet. Hmm. Maybe that's Kokichi's fault too? He probably found it first and hid it. I see. Hmm, that is possible. Like I thought. We need to do something and find him. <laughs> no, there's no re... No, there's no need to bother with him. The best way to deal with guys like him is to ignore them. So let's just leave him be. What's wrong? You say that, but you are the angriest out of all of us. <laughs> no, there was something I was just thinking about. What? Thinking about? I mean... It's still a little too early to tell you guys, but... Leave it to me! Well, just leave it to me. There's no need for you guys to worry. I'll figure it all out. What are you talking about? Figure what out? Hey, guys! I mean, I'm gonna get you guys out of here. She is going to get us out of here. There's that reckless confidence again. Huh? Reckless? Huh. <laughs> you guys just don't get it. Jeez, heroes are always misunderstood. Hey. Girl or whatever, doesn't matter. Just don't overdo it. Of course. Yeah, leave it to me. Perhaps Kaito's confidence is baseless, but it's sort of a relief to have someone so confident in a time like this. A hero. He might really be one. Oh 
man, I have a feeling he's going to die. We weren't able to f we weren't able to find the flashback light, so we all left the dining hall and returned to our rooms. Thank you.